moral panic. Teens arrested in Iran after hijabless skating event. On June 21st, the police arrested several teenage girls in Shiraz, Iran for not wearing a hijab at a quote-unquote skateboarding day event. Five organizers of the event were also arrested. A video of the Go Skateboarding Day event went viral on Iran's social media sites, causing massive outrage among religious fanatics. In the video, numerous teens can be seen hanging out at a skate park with girls and boys freely intermingling and several girls openly showing their hair. The governor of Shiraz, uh, Lotfola Shebani, claimed that the event was held, quote, with the intention of breaking social, religious, and national rules and norms. A religious march will occur on uh, in Shiraz on July 15th after the Friday prayers for, quote, supporters of the sanctity of modesty, zeal, and hijab. Wearing the hijab is compulsory for all women in, uh, all women and teenage girls in the theocratic country of Iran. Not wearing the hijab in a public place is a criminal offense and may result in being arrested, fined, or even lashed. So here on the screen, you can see photos of or video of the skating day event. And you just see, honestly, to me, this looks like a normal Friday in Oakland. <laughs> I'm like, you just see all these boys and girls hanging out, like wearing kind of, you know, baggy skating clothing, like very cool, just hanging, chilling, like walking around skating. Very, very normal teenage behavior. But this, caused outrage. This freaked people out. And a lot of these people got arrested. So I, uh, I don't know if people understand what's going on here because this, this video, this one, a few seconds, like less than um, one minute video, um, create shockwaves in Iran. Okay. So the, pe the people who recorded this and spread this, um, they were like trying to show how bad things have gotten in Iran, right? Like, look at all these girls out with that hijab. And I'm assuming that the, the way that these girls are, like, look at them. Like, you know, they're not wearing, this is Iran. This is Iran, Shiraz, Iran. This is the city that I lived um, all my childhood in. And I don't recognize it because look at all the, the you wouldn't, have, look at the, all the hair, right? This is in Iran. They have amazing hair. Like, I'm jealous, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Uh, the thing is that this was, you know, there is a, the, there are, two, Iran has like two completely different worlds, right? Like there are people that live lifestyles that is completely unrecognizable and alien to the religious side, right? And a lot of religious people live in bubbles that this is, they don't, they don't recognize this. Like they see this, like, wait, this is our country. Right. What mm -hmm. I mean? But the thing interesting is that these kids, they also are living based on Western lifestyles and they like probably watch like Western media, Western music, Western movies. And they want to go on dates and have like they know, you know, they they live lives that for them, their religious lifestyle is completely alien and they are considered the, the religious people are considered like who are they? like they don't even recognize that existed like i grew up in a family like i grew up in an environment when we if we met if i met a religious extremely religious person i'm like oh my god this guy's wacko like like this is like the fringe crazy few people that we don't associate with but those religious people also look at this and they're like if we, if they saw people like this i'm like oh my god these are like fringe liberal degenerates uh, that happen to live in our country okay but that was when I was a kid. Now, because of social media, the outrage that you get from people living like this um, is a lot more because a lot of religious people are now more aware of the fact that they're sharing the country with people like this. And they're like, how, how is this happening? Why are we allowing this? Like, who are these people? Is this our country? So this video went viral and people are like, where are the officials? Like a lot of religious people are like, how long has this been going on? Like, is this just like things that could just happen in Iran and nobody is doing about anything about it? Like, you know, like is Shiraz is a city in Iran where people could just like have events like this. And they're like, 
So the outrage started, got the officials out and the officials came out and were like, uh, no, like, uh, this is an outrage. You're like, oh, I have because... some amazing quotes from the officials. Okay, go on. Like crazy quotes. Well, okay. Part of it also is that Shiraz is like, some people say that it's the third holiest city in the country. So like, they're like in a holy city. Can you believe this? So here's, here's, I have so many good quotes. Okay. But this is a quote from Iran Wire. But so grievous was this offense that the chief justice of Fars province said that the quote unquote perpetrators, by which he meant the organizers of the informal event, would be quote investigated and dealt with, while the governor of Shiraz declared, quote, some of the behaviors exhibited would be unfamiliar to us even in pre Islamic times. <laughs> I mean, technically, he's right because this is. I, I'm not bored, sure. But... <laughs> no, I mean, I don't think this is showing the entire video because I saw some girls that even had some of their like ribs showing and stuff. Like they were wearing like short. Like I don't see it here, but I saw in the original kind of video, and I was top. like, yeah, kind of like a crop top. And I was like, yeah, that would be considered during Shah's time before the Islamic Revolution. Some of these outfits would be considered like too revealing. So the girls are wearing outfits that would be considered too revealing at Shah's time, do before the Islamic Revolution, right? No, no, but the way before pre-Islamic times. Pre-Islam, I mean, I don't know what he means because some some officials talk about before the revolution as pre-Islamic in Iran. <laughs> oh know, like... my God! Okay, I thought you meant like before the creation of Islam, and I'm like, well, yeah, of course, no one had skateboards, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So, okay. So, but, but like, let me just be more clear about how this is happens because people are like, how is this even allowed in Iran? Okay. The thing is that the rules, like, let me make it, make it, for example, let's say like in the United States, there are certain laws against drug use, right? But in liberal states, for example, uh, it's less enforced, you know, so you could have the same laws across the country. But some some kind of, some parts of a country where their people have lived more liberal lifestyles, the officials just look the other way, right? Especially when the girls are at that age, where, I mean, that you can tell that they're above nine, but maybe they're not. Do you know what I mean? You know, yeah. like, can you can you really tell? Like the officials could be like, well, she's like. People like she's obviously like 15 years old. She's above nine. She should have an job. We're like, well, who are we to tell? Like, if like, how could we? Is there like, you know, like it's not. She's not obviously above nine. There are there are some nine year olds that look like that, right? There are some eight year olds that look like that. So you could be like, well, it's questionable if maybe she doesn't have a job because. She's under nine, so she her job is not mandatory for her. So I know, so you could get away with that, but like, but religious people will not have that. Religious people are like, what are you talking about? This is insane. If you're not sure whether she's above nine or not, just ask her. You put her her job on that bitch. <laughs> no, where's the guardian? Like, who are you? Can't just have that. Thing. Anyways, so oh this is God. how. This, okay, but okay, go on. Do you want? Let me. I should have shown the. Video I have right. more. Yeah. I have more statements from officials that we should talk about. What um, is this? Is this something you want to? Is this related? Wait, that's not what I wanted to pull up. There's something different. That's one of the. Is this this it's, one? Yes. Okay. So this is awesome. Don't play the music. So, because the girls were arrested for wearing hijab, now the boys are protesting by skating in chador. <laughs> this is oh my awesome. God, this is boy. So in this video, you see this teenage boy. He's probably like 16 years old. He wraps a chador, a chador around himself and proceeds to go around the skate park, do little kick flips. He looks like like a Batman, like a like a mama Batman on a skateboard, and then the chador fly flowing behind him. <laughs> so <laughs> a lot of people were laughing so hard at this. Yeah, the the the, the boys wearing chador, yeah, based. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is a these are this is a boy protesting the fact that the girls are not allowed in the skate park anymore. It's like you want you want hijab, I'll give you hijab. <laughs> so I'll give you chador. Uh, I give you the full chador. <laughs> this, 
His little kick it's flips. Amazing. Like, honestly, I'm going to be honest, though. Seeing it flow behind him, like seeing the robes flow behind him does look pretty cool. Like, I never thought yeah. about how skating with Chador would actually look pretty cool. But <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, wait, there's more. There's more of these quotes from officials that I want to read. Mohammed Jafar Montazari, Iran's attorney general, duly claimed without evidence that, quote, teenage girls were abused in the course of the event. He went on, quote, some overseas actors like the United States have a mission to incite such things and get money for it. The head of Fars province skating board was fired and the Friday imam of Shiraz also weighed in for good measure. Quote, when it is a political security issue, our behavior with regard to arresting children is different from when it is a moral issue. A counter rally was then held in Fars province with seminary leaders signing a joint statement calling for a citywide campaign to be launched under the, the, the suggested title of, quote, no to sin. The statement decried the quote-unquote normalization of a phenomenon they termed social sin, which the clerics said should be dealt with seriously and effectively by law enforcement and intelligence agencies. Then it was the turn of the central government. The regime's enjoining good and forbidding evil headquarters issued its own statement, declare, declared the rally the harbinger of the age of nudity and slavery. And also, confusingly, sexual freedom. It entreated girls to follow the examples of Fatima Zahra and Zainab, respected daughters of the Prophet Muhammad and the first Shia Imam, instead of, quote, awkward Western patterns to become like the depressed, loose Western women. I like the idea that this is ushering in the age of nudity, slavery, and sexual freedom. <laughs> like, what is <laughs> going on here? But um, okay, so so it makes sense of this. You have to understand how much they were being put under pressure. Okay, so the officials, these people's jobs were like this. Video went viral. Okay, and people were so outraged that they uh, and the uh, people they wanted some heads to roll. They're like, who? Do, like people, a lot of religious people in Iran. They were like, who? Do, like somebody needs to get fired. Like a lot of people need to be losing their positions over this this is not an islamic country if we could allow stuff like this to happen so people were like trying to compete like all the officials just to save themselves they were trying to out compete with each other to show like like no we're going to take this very seriously okay and and people are the religious people are like well if you are going to take this seriously that means that you had the ability to take this seriously so why you didn't, didn't you <laughs> yeah um but th there was also some videos I think uh, came about like cop uh, cars showing up, like pe these places were being guarded, you know, like like there was you know police presence here just to make sure stuff like this doesn't happen. But then I wish I had the video because people in response showed up in a, some other places. They're like in defiance and they were partying and dancing in Shiraz after this, right? Just to show the officials like you can't constantly police us everywhere. So they were, they were just like, if I could find the video, like I, I shouldn't have had it ready. I didn't know I was going to cover this today, but okay. like, because they were like, there are some hot spots in Shiraz where people usually gather for events like this. And apparently after this outrage, all of these, all the places that police know that these are some popular places for people to gather, they were guarded mm. so that this doesn't happen. But then they just picked somewhere else and they just released a video of themselves like dancing, um, you know what? You should highlight some comments. Maybe I could find it. I saw it on the Kuche channel. Well, what I well also wanted to talk about was I while well, you look for it, I've read a really interesting article in um, Iran Wire about how this is part of a larger crackdown that's happening in Shiraz, which is like historically seen as a very lively, like cultured area of Iran, especially because of the wine industry that historically came out of Shiraz. You know, everyone talks about Shirazi wine. And there's been a lot of other crackdowns, like there has been um, a, a crackdown on biking in the area, um, partially because of people, you know, it being so impermissible to see a woman biking in public. So that's part of it. Um, there was also a, 
Um, I think this actually might pertain to the whole country, though. Um, <laughs> there's been a ban on deviant women's coats. So when, there's a certain style of women's coats that has now been banned. Like women's coats have to have buttons in the front. Like they have to be able to close. It's like impermissible for them to be open. And men's shorts that are above the knee are also banned now. So um, there's definitely a wider crackdown that's happening in Iranian society, but then also Shiraz in general, because um, there was a um, like crackdowns on like clubs um, and people think that this is partially, eh, it's a little bit different. The, the influence of um, Ibrahim Raisi's the, the current president of Iran's father-in-law is an extremely powerful cleric, although I believe he's in Mashhad, so that's a little bit different. But a lot of his teachings have been having growing influence, especially when he commanded um, ordinary citizens to not wait for the police to show up when they see a woman not wearing hijab. He explicitly told people to take it upon themselves to basically harass women when not wearing hijab. So, what's his name? Like, Hoda something? Anyways, fuck him. Um, what do we have Hey, here? don't swear. Um, here, so... We have... I love how the teenagers are all, like, goth. Yeah, that's the... Uh... Okay, so this is the police... So, after this, in reaction... Wait, where is that? This is the police presence in areas uh, in response... Okay, to make sure that nothing like this happens. So the police look like it, they showed up in their vans. Uh, this is all the official. Oh, also they're like in Shiraz, for example, like they're going to restaurants and they're closing down the restaurants where the restaurants are not, uh, the restaurant owners or managers are not properly enforcing um, hijab rules. So that's what's happening now. They're in, in, so see they're increasing police presence everywhere in this area mm. but also oh this is a this was the response let me actually add some do you want the music oh, actually i don't want to add the music i don't know if the music might be copyrighted but see this was the response <laughs> dad saying this is wait actually let me see if this was in shiraz yes this is shiraz but it's in the same city this is how people responded they just Look at that up little like... girl yeah <laughs> this is a very persian dance it's like there's a lot of hand movements like this. And this it's this, a lot of. I don't it's know. a lot of this. Look at that guy. Look at that guy at the top. Yes. Yes. <laughs> He's like, get up, shake, shake. Oh my god! Don't block him. He's doing such a good. Oh god, damn it! Where does he go? Look at them. <laughs> oh my god! That's Ooh. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this dance? <laughs> No, you, you need to add more shoulders to it, more more shimmy to the shoulders. Yeah, yeah. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at people having fun. This is haram, guys. This is people enjoying their mo life. Okay. This is people making moments count. This is people creating good memories. Okay. And this is what Islam is against. This is what Islam is trying to stop: is happiness and joy. Okay, and good memories. This is what Islam stands against. Okay. Anyways. So. Even though you didn't play the music, I had like my own Persian music going through my head. <laughs> Wait, I should have played the music, uh -huh. right? Anyways, because it was probably Persian music. That's not copyrighted. Anyways. I don't it. know. Um, okay. So shoot. this uh, SCOTUS one is the next one, right? Yes. Can I clap? Uh, this isn't good, but like, let's clap. Oh, oh wait, wait a second. Is... Arjun just oh. became a member. Thank you for oh, becoming you, a member, Arjun. Arjun. Oh, yeah, thank, thank, thank you for you. supporting an Atheist Republic. Thank you. Uh, speaking of uh, members, Evan Kaim is saying, oh, no, not free inter intermingling between the sexes. How dare they? <laughs> True. <laughs> Oh, rejecting, oh, rejecting, <laughs> rejecting gender discrimination, rejecting gender segregation. How dare they? 
Wait, wait, these are funny as well. That's wait, yeah, wait, this is hilarious comments. Gossip is saying Persian hair. I'm like, oh, yes. <laughs> Music guy just responds, y'all have hair? <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 comedy. Oh. And also this one. Oh, Randolph Richardson is saying Armin Navabi was in my Canada Day live stream yesterday. In a video footage, I was showing him from a protest he and I attended in 2017. That's so sweet. Oh. Thank you, Randolph. <laughs> that is good. Hey, guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.